Hello everyone, I am Partho. Today I will discuss a few basic concepts of physics and we will see how to visualize them. The first concept that I am going to discuss is beat. Beat is the pulsation caused by the combination of two waves of slightly different frequencies. It can be perceived as a periodic variation in amplitude. When the interfering waves are in phase, they interfere constructively and we get the maximum amplitude. And when the waves are out of phase, they destructively interfere, producing minimum amplitude. We should remember that this is different from standing waves. In the case of standing waves, the interfering waves come from opposite direction. In order to have a better understanding, my friend Shubham and I tried to produce beats by playing the same note on flute and slightly changing the frequency in one flute. First, let me show you how the note sounds with one flute. Now let's hear how it sounds with two flutes. The second concept is about acceleration due to gravity. First let us see what happens if we drop a piece of paper and a notebook from the same height. This is obvious. The notebook will move faster and hit the ground before the paper. Anyone can predict it. But most of the people think that this is due to the mass of the object. They think heavier objects move faster than the lighter objects due to gravity. But we know that this is not true. Acceleration due to gravity is independent of mass. In our experiment, the paper got slower due to the air resistance. If there were no air, they would have reached the ground at the same time. We can do this demonstration this way. If we place the paper on the notebook, now there is no air below the paper to resist it. Now if we ask someone who thinks heavier objects moves faster, for him or her, the notebook should hit the ground earlier than the paper. Let's see, let's drop it. The next concept is about free fall. In 1907, Einstein had the happiest thought of his life. And the thought was like this. If a person falls freely, he won't feel his own weight. This thought led him to postulate the equivalence principle, which was crucial for his formulation of the new theory of gravity. Can we visualize this weightlessness on a free fall? Yes, we can. Let's see how. I have made a few holes in this bottle. If I make the cap loose, water will come out of the bottle due to gravity. Now if I drop the bottle, the water inside should feel weightlessness. That means the water inside the bottle should not feel the gravity and should stop coming out of the bottle. Let's see what happens when we drop it. The water actually stops coming out on a free fall of the bottle. Let's see it again. Now for the fourth concept, I have used two bowls. In this bowl, I have taken cold water and in this one, I have taken hot water. Now let me put a few drops of ink into these bowls and wait for some time to see what happens. We can see that the ink gets mixed up faster in hot water than the cold water. That means molecules move more quickly in hot water than cold water. 